Hi, this is Carrie from Cookbook Divas. And when I was at the library picking up my holds, I had forgotten that I'd picked up a book called Community and I got a little bit sad thinking I miss community and having people over. But that's not what this is this book is about, so I can safely look through it. It's by Hetty McKinnon. It's apparently the revised edition. I'd never heard of the first ed edition. It is Salad Recipes from Arthur Street Kitchen. Now, I never go through these books before I look through them with you, so I don't know where Arthur Street Kitchen is. No idea. But let's find out. And I'm a vegetarian, so a book all full of salad recipes that I can use now that it's January 2021 and I'm trying to eat healthier after the New Year and the holidays. This is perfect for me. And I bet a lot of these have meat on the salad. I would just omit it. It's by Plum Pan McMillan Australia. Maybe that's why I've never heard of Arthur Street Kitchen. Here's her family, I guess. Contents. Welcome to the roots. Everybody loves brassicas. I need to look up how to pronounce that. Is it brassicas? Anyway, the kingdom of fungi, the goodness of cereals, love legumes, hello nightshades, meet the marrows. I might have to skip that chapter. And in the mood for Asian. Okay. Let's flip through really quick the story of Arthur Street Kitchen. Still don't know what city it's in. Oh, well, I'll find out later. Shiny Happy Vegetables. The Ladder. I don't know what that big hearty salads. Don't know. Salad Fundamentals. Welcome to the Roots. Beetroot, Carrot, Fennel, and Sweet Potato. Okay. Oh, awesome. Beautiful large photo. A little bit of history of how she came up with this salad and why it's important to her. It serves four. Here's the ingredients. Here's how to make the yogurt. Here's the step. And it involves turning on an oven for the beets. Okay. Roasted beetroot with caramelized turnips, edamame, and wasabi mayonnaise. So these are not quick fixes. You're doing some work to make these. That's fine. Pickled beetroot with pui lentils, baby spinach, and cheddar. And because this book is from Australia, it's in grams, so you'd have to look up an online measure, you know, converter. Be unless you can do it in your head, in which case, you're amazing! Beetroot with dill creme fraiche and walnuts, yum. Some pictures from the restaurant. So atar roasted carrots with kale, frika, and blood orange maple dressing. Spiced roasted carrot with fennel, caramelized onion, and hazelnuts. Ooh, look at this pretty one. Char-grilled fennel and asparagus with pearl couscous and coriander oil. Baked sweet potato with rocket, feta, and black olive walnut relish. So you have to make these relish ahead of time, so just putting the salad together isn't going to be that fast, but it's going to be worth it. Moroccan sweet potato, chickpeas, and couscous with tremula. Let's see if I can find a new chapter. Here it is. Everybody loves brassicas. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, turnip, kale, cavolo nero, don't know what that is, cabbage, and kohlrabi. And the first recipe of this section is brassica kimchi bowl with sesame miso dressing. Then we move on to some more pictures from the restaurant. Sweet sesame broccoli and edamame with quinoa. Oh. Broccoli and orecchiette with yogurt and peas. Yum, that would be a great summer cold salad, wouldn't it? Fried cauliflower with lentils, jug, and yogurt. Ooh, fried cauliflower. Ooh, this looks good too. Char grilled cauliflower with fried butter beans and pumpkin hummus. You had me at fried. Okay, I'm going to try and move on to the next chapter, which luckily is green <gasps> mushrooms. The first recipe is fresh mushroom butter bean and coriander salad. The next one is black fungus and five spice tofu with mung bean vermicelli. That's some ingredients I don't just have sitting around in my house. Mixed mushrooms with farro, feta, and almonds. Now I have all of those in my house. Okay. The goodness of cereals. This is going to be quinoa and pearl barley. Two things I don't really cook with often. Winter tabbouleh with quinoa, sumac, cauliflower, pomegranate, and feta. That was a short chapter. Now we're into love legumes. Edamame, lentil, and pea. Here's a lady holding spicy fried edamame with eggplant and soba noodles. Spicy fried edamame with eggplant and soba noodles. 
Balsamic roasted pears with lentils, gorgonzola, and sage. Yum. What a perfect summer salad. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to skip to the next chapter. Hello, nightshades. Tomato, eggplant, capsicum, and potato. Pasta a la Norma salad. I like to have an enormous salad. Get it? <laughs> Baked tomatoes with capers, olives, and croutons. Yum. That looks good. Slow roasted caprese with charred green beans and basil pistou. Ooh, what's this? Slow roasted balsamic tomatoes with spelt pasta, porcini, and ricotta. Hey, these are all vegetarian. I'm not seeing any chicken on anything or fish or anchovies. Potatoes, peas, and eggs with chimichurri. Meet the marrows. Uh, pumpkin, zucchini, and cucumber. Oh, I thought it was referring to like bone marrow and I was getting grossed out. Okay. Wow, I'm glad I was mistaken. Butternut pumpkin with lemon tahini and miso granola. Cinnamon pumpkin with chickpeas, tahini, and candied pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin with burnt butter, poppy seeds, and crispy sage. Barbecued corn and ro roasted butternut pumpkin with black beans and jalapeno sour cream. Wow, that's a lot of flavors going on. That looks incredible, though. I don't have time to make jalapeno sour cream, but maybe you do. And we're getting close to the end. Cucumber and tomatoes with halloumi and tzatziki. Oh, I'm going to whip this book out in summertime and start using it. In the Mood for Asian is our final chapter. How about seaweed with sesame tofu and mung bean vermicelli? vermicelli. How about hot and sour mung bean vermicelli with mushrooms, wombok, whatever that is, and tofu? And the last one I'll show you today. Me goreng with Asian greens. Don't know what that is. Looks like noodles. Wow. That was the community cookbook. Completely not what I thought it was going to be. Way better than I thought. I was kind of thinking salads would sound boring. That is incredible. Love it. And I don't have enough Australian cookbooks. So I'm going to turn off the camera and go read about what this place is and the history behind it. And I'll see you soon on one of my other cookbook look-throughs. You can see them on our website at Cookbook Divas. We're on YouTube. Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching and happy cooking.